if you ever tried creating a dashboard in Smartsheet or you've created a dashboard in Smartsheet and it's okay but it doesn't look amazing and maybe you've seen other dashboards maybe on someone else's Smartsheet or on even on a YouTube video or, or somewhere else and you're like man I really wish my dashboard could look like that we'll look no further today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can take your dashboard to the next level and in this video, um, Smartsheet has recently come up with some new updates and changes to their dashboards that will make your dashboard look beautiful. And uh, at times it can even look like a website. And so I'm gonna show you just a few quick tips and tricks that will put you above the rest of most that build dashboards within Smartsheet so that you can look your best all the time and look professional as you're creating for your clients and for your team and for your company. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I am your guide, Justin Razio, and today I'm gonna show you how to take your dashboard to the next level, and we're gonna be doing that by covering three different things. The first one of which is your background color, your widget colors, and then most importantly, your widget placement on your dashboard. And you may be asking, Justin, what colors are you talking about? Justin. What is a widget? Well, we'll be covering all of these things today, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you how the professionals do it. All right, let's dive into these dashboards. All right, here's the dashboard I created for you guys today. And as you can see here, we have the banner up top, we have our, our widgets, we have our graphs, our widget graphs and our widget report. And um, anytime someone comes to your dashboard that you've created, um, Statistics show that it should not take more than four seconds for someone to recognize and know what the dashboard is for. So when they come to the dashboard, it's very important to put at the very least a title, if not a beautiful banner like this with a title embedded, so they know exactly what this dashboard is for. So as someone comes to this dashboard, okay, it's a sales management dashboard. The next thing is that you wanna make sure that this is aesthetically pleasing. We got some colors in here. Um, this is for a, a lemonade stand company. I think we all know what a lemonade stand is. Um, we've either bought lemonade from a, a little entrepreneur or when we were little entrepreneurs or we kiddos, um, maybe we set up our own lemonade stand. But this is just an example. And uh, as you can see here in the lemonade stand banner, we have our, you know, we got our coral pink colors here. We got some yellow and we got some green. And within this dashboard, I incorporated those colors throughout. So it's, it's aesthetically pleasing. You got your green, your yellow, and your coral. The other thing to keep in mind is for each widget, and real quick, for a widget, a widget is any, any object on your dashboard. And if you click on the, the pencil icon here, and you click the plus sign right here, these are a list of all your widgets right here. And so, See how this the square right here? This is a widget. This is called a metric widget. This guy right here, this is called a chart widget. So if I double click into this on edit mode, or it says right here, this is a metric widget. And it's pertaining only to this guy right here. If I double click onto this guy, this chart right here, this is a chart widget. If I double click onto this one right here, it's highlighted, this is a shortcut widget. Again, all your widgets are right here. Med metric, your chart, your shortcut, so on and so forth. And just know, uh, most people don't know this, just know that if you're doing a, um, a bunch of edits on your dashboard and you wanna move your widgets around, if you go back into edit mode, edit dashboard, and you click and drag and just make a square, you can highlight as many widgets as you want. So I'm gonna highlight these four says so four widgets have been selected, then you can click and drag and move these around however you'd like. You don't have to move just one widget at a time. I'm going to cancel that. And you say, hey Justin, I really like this banner that you've used. I don't want to just use a title widget. I want to use a beautiful picture. How did you do that? Hey guys, real quick. If you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description how to use them, 
and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours. I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. There's a beautiful picture, how did you do that? Well, what I did was I went into Canva and I just threw on a picture, put on the logo and the name of the dashboard, it's all within this picture. And then I went ahead and saved it, downloaded it, and then embedded it into the dashboard. And the way I did that is go to the pencil icon, double click into here. And as you can see here, I can move this picture that I created. And it may come in as fit by default when you first when you first create your, your banner dashboard. And as you can see here, there's spacing here and spacing here that I do not want. So make sure you click fill and then drag this out right where you want it. And in order to to create this widget, so first and foremost, you gotta you gotta create the picture and download it. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna click on uh, the edit. You're gonna click add widget, and let's go ahead and we can add an image here. Another way to get to your your widgets right here is click on the plus sign. These are the exact same thing. Metric, chart, shortcut, report. Metric, chart, shortcut, report, so on and so forth. These are the same thing, left and right. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on image. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click select image. Load from computer. I'm gonna click on my lemonade dashboard banner. Click upload. Give it a few seconds, it's gonna think. Now by default, it's gonna be fit. And so if I just if I just drag it out now, it's gonna have some, some gaping and I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose fill. And then I'm going to go ahead, click on my dashboard and drag it all the way to the top. Click save, and there you go. Now I'm not going to go into the details of creating each and every type of widget. I do have another video that covers that, that you can um, see on this card right here. But today I just wanted to go over your placement and the colors. So as I mentioned before, someone comes to your dashboard, they know exactly what it is within four seconds. We got our high level view or a 10,000 foot view as they say, just high level metrics. And then in the middle here we got our graphs. And then last but not least, we get even more granular, which is our reporting. And uh, in any dashboard, uh, rule of thumb to keep in mind is start at the 10,000 foot view, start high level, just high level numbers, keep it simple. And as somebody scrolls down your dashboard, it should begin to get more and more granular. So right here, we start getting really detailed. And the metrics right here, we got gray, yellow, green, and coral. So north side is, is gray, our chart right here, north side is gray. We got east side is yellow, I made sure that east side is yellow, so on and so forth. So you wanna make sure that those match so it's very easy to read and not confusing. And the last thing I wanted to cover today is some updates that Smartsheet has done to their dashboards, which is awesome. As you can see here, the background is not white or gray. Um, before that was the default colors that you were forced to use. Well, Smartsheet made some updates where you click on the pencil icon and then you click on the gear icon. Look at this. You can choose any background color you want and any background of the widget color that you want. So the background color, if you click change, they give you some default colors, but just know if you click on this plus sign here under custom, you can put in your own hex code and it will be any color you want. So for instance, say I want to change the background. Now bear, bear in mind, bear with me, I, I will not save it like this. This is going to look super ugly, but I just want to show you what it looks like. You can choose, I don't know, let's just choose green as our back dashboard background. Just click that. Maybe I want to change the background of my widget. See how they're tan? I'm going to change this. Maybe I want it to be, oh, I don't know, let's do blue. You can see here the background of the widgets are blue the background of the graph, or the background of the dashboard, excuse me, is green. 
and they give you the grid lines here so you can match things up a little more nicely um, but if you want your uh, your widgets to um, to be see-through where you don't want the colors to show through then you're just gonna make your background color and your widget color the same color so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna make this tan I'm gonna make this tan as well exact same now you can see each block here because we're in edit mode but when I click save you're not gonna see those blocks anymore it's gonna be see-through so this is just a quick video I wanted to show you guys today your your placement on your dashboard, how someone should be able to read it quickly and efficiently, and then some updates that Smartsheet has done. All right, you guys, take care and God bless.